Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to build the wing and the tail section to this 152. Okay, so the first part that I'm going to work on is the tail section. Like I showed you guys in the last video, uh, important thing to do is make sure that your push rod for the rudder and the elevator goes through the pieces nice and easy. Uh, so that's where it'll come in handy for this step. So I've got my one millimeter push rod and that'll just slide nice and easy right into the control surfaces and it moves nice and free. So uh, from there, let's go ahead and start building up the tail. So first I just lay all the pieces and make sure they're all in the right spot. And uh, then I use a drill a bit on the end of my Dremel tool just to clean out all these uh, holes for the hinge points for the elevator, the rudder, and I even do it for the flaps and the ailerons later on. Before you add any glue, you want to make sure you test fit all the parts and make sure they fit nicely. Make sure that all the seams between the parts aren't uh there's no like lip or edges on there because that'll really show in the final product once you get done with it now i'm just uh gluing together the elevator Okay, so there's the finished elevator. So now that I have that all put together, I'll set that aside and start working on the rudder section. So again, just lay all the parts out, make sure they're all in the right configuration. This part, it's really important to glue all the pieces together in the right order. Uh, not to glue that top section of the rudder onto it, because that'll that's what kind of locks the part in place. And then this section of the rudder needs to be cut out. This is what allows there to be room for the control service for the elevator. So I just use a Dremel tool to cut it out. Uh, they recommend using like a hot knife. Now once you have those parts of the rudder built, now you can glue this top part on. And then once you glue that on, that'll lock that uh, rudder in place so that it won't come off. Next, I'll put another small drill bit on my Dremel tool and drill out the hole in the rudder in the elevator for the push rod. Next we can uh, glue the elevator onto the fuselage, so first I'll just glue one side of the elevator on, doesn't matter if you do the left or the right, uh, just do one side first, glue that on there, and use the CA to accelerator to make it dry quicker, and then now we can add the actual elevator onto the Z-Bend that we just bent with the pliers, and then we can uh, fit that elevator into uh, that side of the horizontal stabilizer. This is where it's really important to make sure that the, this part, you know, moves nice and freely because, uh, you know, once you glue all together, it's a lot harder to do all the sanding. So make sure that those parts all move nice and free before you glue it together. And then we'll uh, glue the rudder on, same thing. And there is the tail section all completed. So uh, next we'll start working on the wing. So here 
on the bottom, you can see that lip there, how it sticks out on the bottom. That needs to be cleaned off with sandpaper and a uh, hobby knife. All the parts have that lip on there, so you have to go through each single one of the parts on the wing and tediously clean that part off. And once you put the wing together, you'll see how much nicer the edge fits together. So here I'm almost done with the entire wing. Uh, you'll notice there, make sure not to glue the wing tips on because uh, the wing tips are what hold the ailerons in place. So just leave those parts off until you get to the step to where you're going to start putting the ailerons on. Uh, now we'll test fit the uh, main wing on the fuselage. And there it is. And now it's time to start working on the flaps and the ailerons. And now that we have the uh, ailerons and the flaps all done, we'll go ahead and test fit it. So this is really important here to make sure that you just get these parts to fit nice and smooth and uh, there's no binding or anything. And then here you can see how the wing tip just holds that uh, aileron in place. So I'm just going to tape it on there for now and uh, continue working on the rest of the parts. Uh, same thing with the flaps, make sure that these move nice and free. This small file here works nice to clean up all the parts to make sure that the ailerons uh, move nice and free on all the joints. So now I got all the fitment done. So you can see here I can lift the flaps up and they just drop straight down. Same with the ailerons. There's no binding anywhere. That's how you want them to be so that way it'll fly nice and smooth and the servos won't be straining or anything to move any of the control surfaces. The last part to uh, get cleaned up is this strut here. So just a matter of putting it on there and just doing a little bit of sanding and filing and making just small adjustments until you get to fit nice. Here's some pictures of the plane after it's all uh, put together and uh, still got some more work to do. Put electronics in it, put some paint on there and some decals. So I'll look out for my next videos. Thanks guys.